as students of religion, the basis of African spiritualism means a lot to you. And that is why you have been chosen to carry out this research. We have strange intruders. They must be from our men. Check out their business. This 
Pleistos, no you can like your father. That is a temple. The chief says it's a pastor. Even if it's a much hurry, I don't care. All I need is my new black hurry. After all, chief is more than a black hurry. Let's go. I'll be. I asked you to wait till the end of the counseling session, and I am glad you did. Thank you, Pastor. I empathize with you after hearing your story of childlessness for 15 years. Where is your husband now? He traveled to China on a business trip. That is great. That's great. My vision did not betray me. The Lord showed me that your husband's travel will mark the beginning of your deliverance. The Lord also instructed me to tell you that if you can obey simple instructions now, you will have your own child shortly. Hallelujah. Amen. Pastor, you don't need to ask me to obey an instruction. You need to see the pains I go through in the hands of my husband's people. My situation is worse because he's a wealthy man. Pastor, what would I not do to have a baby for him? Even if it's one child, Pastor, one is enough. The Lord has answered your prayers. Mm -hmm. I want you to go somewhere for special prayers and night vigil today. You will leave from here to that place. I will be there personally to supervise. Don't worry, the Lord says your ordeal is over. But you must promise to switch off your phones until tomorrow morning. And also, you must tell no soul about this movement until tomorrow morning. Pastor, the phones are off already. Who am I not to obey you? Huh? You are a great man of God. That does wonders in the name of God. Pastor, I'm ready. We give God the glory. Amen. Take this card and go to that address. You will be well attended to until I come. Okay, Pastor. 
Can I hear it loud? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It is well. Pastor this year for a special deliverance prayer. Anything to prove that Pastor Ubesia sent you? Yes. <laughs> you seek for a child? You will have many, but not in this life. Probably in your next life. I reject it in Jesus' name. How do you mention that name here? You shall die tonight. That was a big blow from Pastor oh. Bissi. Masters of Bashida Temple, you're welcome to the great temple of the Anacondas. Doctorate students of African traditional spiritualism.
晚上就只一张。Sitting on your own side. I mean, you're a very beautiful lady. I don't think you should be sad. Thank you. So who are you? Um, my name is Joe Karachi, the only son of Chief Karachi Otumba. The Wazubia Chief. You know him. Everybody knows him. Yeah, that's my father. So um, who am I talking to? I'm Katrin Obese, the only child of Pastor Obese Asolano. Wait a minute. Are you the child of the famous, most popular overseer in town? You can say that again. Wow, that's nice. Um, uh, but I was wondering, I was looking at you from that place. You were looking so sad. I, I didn't wonder, like, so why you were the only daughter of the general overseer? The one famous general overseer is sad. Well, I'm also sad. Reasons best known to me, huh? and I really wouldn't want to pray into your privacy. Thanks for your understanding. So, what, what are you into now? Um, managing one or two of my father's company now, but actively, I'm doing my master's degree in um, African theology which um, the great Professor Conte Manakaya seemed to be my supervisor. <laughs> you don't mean it. The great professor of African religion and spiritualism? <laughs> He's also my supervisor. Really? Yeah. What a coincidence. Big one. Um, I, I don't know, but I was thinking maybe you and I can um, get to know each other, you know? They're friends, very good friends. Mm -hmm. We are all gathered here today, as is usual, once every year to offer our sacrifices, hoping and believing that it will entice the great Grand Master Uzim Kaja. All of us will give our prayers and wisdom. I'm a mean, poor, childless woman, <laughs> looking for a child. <laughs> Let me go. I, I cannot live <laughs> Master of the Anacondas. We are all here gathered as usual to offer our sweet smelling sacrifice in order to renew our commitments to the great Anaconda at the same time as an opportunity for you to meet our needs and also that we will continue to enjoy your presence. Wait, come my star and cook now.
pastor of the Anaconda, the giver of wealth and wisdom. best ability I am, so tell me why do you ask? Nothing, just wanted to know who I'm here with. Okay. Anyways, I'm born again and it would be nice to know you're one. Um, I gotta go now, so I guess we'll see some other time. You haven't finished your meal? No, I'm good. My sacrifice with which I invite your majesty to our gathering. In the name of the great grandmaster of the Anaconda. Uzim Kaja, these are the sacrifices you have demanded of us, like the food. Great Anaconda, the great giver of wealth and wisdom, great Grand Anaconda, the of wealth and wisdom. Great <laughs> disciples, I am impressed with your sweet smelling sacrifices. Such sacrifices must be done constantly if you want non-stop flow of my wealth and wisdom. Karachi and Obezier, because of your excellent performances, I give you waivers. You shall not give me your only children anymore. I do this believing that you will double your sacrifices as a replacement for your son and daughter, respectively. The great and wise master. Obezier, for extra spiritual powers, for miracles and growth of the church, I shall reveal to you on what to do. I appreciate the great one. Gunter, your cries have reached me. I permit you to have a wife, but forget about having children. Before you violate this order, ask Esel. I appreciate the Holy One. Thank you, my Lord. As it's customary, you drop all your need right in the bowel of the Supreme Sacrifices and burn them as soon as I leave. Every of your demands shall be met. Thank you, my love devotees. I shall renew your strength and power to fight against your enemies. Receive the bread of life.
Most things in life don't seem the way we see them Could be so shining but inside is so dark Each step we take must be accounted for one day Be it good or bad, we'll get what we sow one day oh. Hey, oh, you reap what you sow Hey, oh, you get yours on earth Hey, oh, you reap what you sow Hey, oh, you get yours on earth be careful the kind of decisions that you take Some can be reversed and could come back to you Cause what you give in life is what you will get hey. Cause what goes up must surely come down one day hey, 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 You reap you One hey, day, one day, one day hey, You hey, get hey, yours on earth You will get hey, yours on earth you hey, see Things in life don't seem the way we see them Could be so shining but inside is so dark Each step we take must be accounted for one day Be it good or bad, we'll get what we sow one day oh, hey, oh, you reap what you sow One hey, day, one day, one day oh, You get yours on earth You will get hey, yours on earth, you see There is this cold and serene thing about this girl. She sounds serious but angelic. She really writes about this perilous things. And she is. Am I really prepared for this battle? I'm obliged to her. But I really need to follow it up spiritually. Father, in the name of Jesus, Father, Lord, your son, I've come to you this day. My Lord, I am confused. Father, open my eyes that I might not make mistakes. Father, I seek your guidance and revelation as regard my new relationship. Father, Lord, come and reveal to me all that I need to know about this relationship. Father, guide and bless me. Father, guide me. Father, protect me. All this I ask of you in Jesus' mighty name, I pray. Amen.
Christ of our Father, I ask for your protection. Save me from every evil power in Jesus' name. Thank you, Father. I glorify your name. I magnify your name. Daddy, I love you. You should know better than disturb somebody's prayers. I'm sorry, my daughter. But you see, I had to come and tell you that I will be traveling to Port Harcourt first thing tomorrow morning. And I wouldn't want to wake you then. That's okay, Dad. Mm. Daddy, I've been having strange visions of great evil. You and your dreams again. Dreams or vision, the evil must be crushed. The truth is, I don't like the way I've been feeling spiritually ever since mom's sudden and unexplained death in this house. Must you remind me of that painful exit? I'm also a victim, Dad. But the truth is, I've been having strange visions almost daily ever since her death. Looks like someone is keen on killing me. Probably the same forces that killed her. Daddy, is there a way you can explain all this? Because I'm wondering why this should be happening in the pastor's house. I will personally pray over that. And let me advise you. Spend most of your praying hours in the church rather than in the house. It's better that way. Hmm? And let me go and finish parking. Sleep tight. Why is he always barging in on me in the middle of serious prayers? He doesn't seem to encourage me in my deep devotion in God. This spirit, Professor Kunte, he looks very harmless. But my pastor was right when he said that no other man has ever asked me out. At least the whole talk about marriage ever since I slept with him. Pastor said he belongs to a strong cult. That deny him the joy of marriage and childbearing as a condition for his acceptance. This looks so real. No, but seriously, what would a 55 year old mega millionaire still be doing single? I think I have to confront him. Yes. I will take it easy, just like the pastor advice. I will not take it. I will allow him to make the decision himself. <laughs> Professor Kunte. I am an academic girl just like you. But I wish to have a family more than I long for more degrees. So don't tell me it's the other way around in your case. This is not the time and place to discuss this, Grace. This is our three years in courtship. And you have only allowed me into your house twice. On no account would you even allow me sleep over. You prefer dealing with me in a hotel room. Prof, you are almost 55 and exceedingly wealthy, yet without a wife. I mean, naturally, one should think that you should be the one desperately searching. But alas, here I am, a young lady in my prime, begging you to build the family. Prof, is, is there anything wrong somewhere? I mean, is this spiritual? Don't step beyond your bounds, Grace. Let me know my bounds, Prof.
It is the man that decides when he wants to settle down. If I have not decided, is it a crime? If you cannot take it any longer, you take a walk. <laughs> a very sweet goodbye. A smart escape if you must ask me. Like you're waiting for the slightest opportunity to steal the pain. Interpret it anyhow. I am out of this relationship henceforth. You're very sick, Fote. Very sick. You need spiritual deliverance. If not, how can a normal man like you, as wealthy as you are, have some serious apathy for marriage? You are very, very sick. Oh, come and get out of my office before I pour my venom on you. I don't want a wife, period! Why are you found in your face? I have come to tell you that I am not cursed. Come <laughs> on, sit down, sit down. Sit down. Sit down, Eunice. Who said that the wife of SNUNUE Gonki Zizi is cursed? Don't tell me that your ignorance of the room was flying about. Look, to the people out there, we are cursed with imbeciles. There is no such thing as imbecility in my lineage, and I am ready to prove them wrong. But you're not helping matters. Hmm. Look, honey, I have told you to come with me to our family doctor so that you can complete the reproductive analysis. But you refused. Look, honey, you're wealthy enough and you can afford the in vitro fertilization and well treated and life egg and sperm cells. Hmm? The solution is there. Hmm? Yet you have refused to, to put this shame out of my face. Why? Mwabu Eselune Nuego. Eunice, how many times have I told you that I am medically okay? How many times? Listen, let me warn you. I am all right. Okay, honey, if you're all right, why have you refused to get me pregnant? Why? You only left me with those two. Look, honey, I need more children. And I don't mind if they're imbeciles. Yes, can you listen to yourself? Can you? Now listen, let me tell you. What you don't know, you don't know. You are better off with those imbeciles. Are you listening to me? I should be the one to tell you if I still need children in this house. Or don't you think so? I don't know what you're talking about. All I'm saying is that I need children. Better find something. Where do you think you're going? Go back here. Okay. What is it? You're not going anywhere. Go back here. Go back here. You're not going anywhere. Nonsense. I said, you're not going anywhere. Is that you get me pregnant or you follow me to a family doctor? Look, Esel, I need children. I am not a reverend sister. I am here to bring healthy and lovely kids to you, not imbeciles. You are talking to me, eh? You are still holding me back, eh? You are saying you are not going to... Ah! 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 
God forbid! I, you need! Well, Koi, must find a solution. Fast! You go back and meet me in this house. Sakaraj. The widows and orphans of this church. For the food items you donated, the empowerment program, and the scholarship awarded to the children. All these are milestones that are worthy of emulation. Thank you very much, Father. I feel very flattered. <laughs> very honored. You see, Father, when I was being conferred um, with the Knight of St. Mulumba, I vowed to touch lives. And that's exactly what I'm doing. I see it as a self-obligation that I owe the people, just like Jesus Christ in the Bible, told us to bear each other's cross. So I am playing my own part. Well, Sakarachi, be it as it may, there is this particular question that I've been wanting to ask you. Please go on, Father. I am asking you this question first because of your position as a knight of the Catholic Church. And secondly, because of my call as a Catholic priest, it is my duty to protect my flock. You're absolutely correct, Father. I'm listening, Father. Sakaraji, are you by any means a member of any secret court? <laughs> I must confess that this question is very embarrassing. You know, see, if I sometimes I marvel at the level of envy you know, people exude over a fellow human being's uh, success. But it's okay, you know, it's alright. Even Jesus Christ in the Bible, despite all the love he showered on the Jews, they still condemned him and eventually killed them. So who am I? A man being, a man mortal. Well, Father, I'll tell you something. If my husband belonged to any cult, I think I should be in the best position to know. But for your information, in case I find out that he's planning on, you know, getting into any form of occultism, Father, <laughs> I will be the first to. I will run to the church. I will stand in front of the congregation and tell them what is going on. I mean, what do you expect? I'm the Catholic Women Organization's chairperson and I feel I should do what is right. Okay? Um, Father, I'm shocked that this terrible news has got into your desk. Um, I, Joe Karachi, will personally disown my father if by any chance he is into some kind of evil. But for now, Father, he remains my idol. Thank you, son. You see, Father, you see, every 
wealthy man attracts negative criticism. But despite all that, it would not stop us from doing what we have chosen to do. Yes. It will not stop me. I will keep doing what I think is right for the people. Well, Chief Sakurachi. Yes, Father. Do not allow this rumor to stop you from doing the good work of the Lord. Yes. It will not, Father. I can assure you it will not. It will not deter me from doing God's work. No, nothing. Chief Sakurachi, I'm so impressed by your son's devotion to the things of the Lord, despite the enormous weight that surrounds him. <laughs> Thank you very much, son. <laughs> Thank you very much, Father. Well, son, coming from the Reverend Father himself, congratulations. Thank you, Father. <laughs> Once again, Sakaraji. I thank you for this. I need to see Kratis so I can get this off my head. I feel the same way, but Professor Conte is a, is a guru in his field, so all I, need, all I do is pick points from his lecture and I forget everything about his personal beliefs. Joe. Sweetie. Tell me, what do you want from this relationship? <laughs> Nothing other than marriage. I don't know, baby. Your daddy is Catholic and my a Pentecostal pastor. Do you think that's gonna work? Of course it's gonna work. Yeah. We're old enough to take our destinies in our hands. Not to worry, okay? Um, that reminds me. You said something about me to beware of the perilous times. Tell me, what are your fears? In fact, it's about my father. Hmm, your father. What about him? He's a general overseer and a successful pastor, but I doubt his fate. You know, I'm telling you this because I'm the only child without a mother, and you're the only one that seems to understand how I feel. Hmm. You know, after my mom's sudden and mysterious death, I've been having strange visions, and and the last one, it points to my father. Wow. This is, this is, this is, this is scary. Of late, I think there is some forces that have been trying to kill me. Wow. And any time I try to go into a serious prayer, my father comes into my room. I don't think it's coincidental, Joe. I think he's really trying to stop me from praying or something. I just don't get this whole thing. And this is scary. Tell me, is it not strange when a man of God advises his daughter to do more of the prayers in church than in the house? Hmm? You know what, sweetie? Oh. I urge you to wipe this thought off your head. I mean, this could be destructive. Baby, the dreams and vision keeps coming. But hey, Joe. I don't want you to discuss this with anybody, okay? There should be between us. Sweetie, Baby. if it gets more dangerous, I would advise you leave the house. I can't, sweetie. I just can't. I mean, travel somewhere. Relax. Get this off your head, okay? Okay.
Did you miss your way? No. I'm here to apologize. Well, there is no need for apologies since you are not ready to settle down. I have a proposal to make. Last time, I was stupidly transferring anger from another. Marry me, Grace. I love you. I mean, is this for real, Prof, or you're just acting up? I have never said such thing all my life. I'm just saying it for the first time. Oh, hi, honey. Yeah, I was just going to call you. Oh, right. Wow. It's Tuesday. You're in your uniform. It's not Saturday yet. What's going on? No, there's an emergency meeting of the Knights at the parish today. Tonight. Tonight? Yes, tonight. Yes. Oh, tonight is an emergency meeting. Oh, I don't like this day, emergency meetings. You know the town is not good. I know. Don't worry. I'll pick up some security details from the police station, okay? Oh, oh that's perfect. Mm, that's right. But Where's Joshua? Isn't he taking He's you? He's not feeling well, so I excuse them, okay? Oh, really? Jesus, come get his car out. Let me call uh, Joe to move it. Oh, Joe. Okay. Joe! Joe! Oh, Joe! Yes, Father. Is that all you know? Okay. But, but Father, a dear... Oh, brother, is there no other place where they gather, like where they have their meetings? Okay, of course not, Father. I won't tell my mom, not a child. Thank you very much, Father. Thank you very much for blessing. Yeah. Please, please, I love you, Richard. Thank you. Hi, son. <gasps> mom, yeah. he's lying. There are no such meetings of the night in the church. Father, Stanley just confirmed that. Why is Karachi doing this to me? I know what you're thinking, Mom. You're thinking Dad has another mistress somewhere. What else? Just tell me, what else? It would have been better if he has several mistresses. What? If my guess is right, then my father is into a deadly, dangerous adventure that could take our head someday. I just hope my best things are wrong. What are you talking about? Because lately, recently, I've heard so many people tell me that my father is a member of a secret cult. But do you believe such nonsense? After all the strange engagements, consumers and lies, I don't know what to believe anymore. Come on, son. Come on. You have to disabuse your mind of all these nonsense insinuations. Your father is a member of the knighthood in the church. Do you understand me? Besides, we have been married for 30 donkey years. And if your father belonged to any cult, I think I am in a position to know. Please stop. I know what is wrong with you. You're just a 
afraid of facing your fears. Please, just enough, okay? Just stop, please. Look, very careful men take their secrets to the grave. Your husband, my father, Karachi Sariki Otumba, is a very careful man. What did you guys get this way? Do you expect an answer to that question? Not when you ask me to fight me. Jesus Christ. What has gotten into him? My husband. There must be some mistress somewhere. There must be some mistress. Telling you people about the gains I have already started reaping. I have just won the biggest contract ever given out in Azorok. <laughs> Safir, Jezebel, Delilah. Now what to do? Because you cannot just sit down here sipping blood. It is time to work. Tanaka. Kingo. I need not remind you that nobody enters the Bashida Temple of Wisdom and leaves alive. Except you are an Anacondas. Because the story of the Shida Temple of Wisdom starts and ends here alone. Yes, Commander. Yes, Commander. We are here at your service, Commander. The Great Commander. May I use this opportunity to invite the Great Anacondas to my traditional wedding with my new wife as permitted by the Grand Master himself. <laughs> it's our wedding. We shall be there. We shall leave no stone on top to make things happen on that day. Have I spoken our minds? Have I?
later, I'm using more for the same Waiting for the man who prefers to keep two homes. I beg your pardon. What I told you I was going for. What you told me was a lie. There was no meeting at the parish. Well, uh, the, the meeting obviously uh, was shifted to another venue. Oh, really? And was Father Stanley also changed as the chairman of the meeting? Let me tell you something. It is difficult to lie to a wife of 30 years standing. I called Father Stanley. You are a bloody cheap liar. You're a bloody liar. Oh, please, please, I'm tired. Oh, you're tired, really? Why didn't you bring that in? Bring it my rival. You're tired indeed. Let me tell you something, the God I worship will strike whatever it is that is disturbing my family. In Jesus' name I pray. There is no mistress. I mean, look elsewhere. Look beyond his private life. Now come, let's go to bed. Come on, let's go sleep. He was definitely lying. No one more convinced that my father belonged to a very serious secret party group. Reaction on his face when Mom said, In Jesus' name. Could it be that I'm wrong? No, no, no. Something in me disagrees vehemently. I can talk right now. I'm sorry. I'm truly very sorry. It's just that uh, I felt if I told you I was attending a friend's party, you would have approved. You know, I promise you it won't happen again. It won't. Even if you felt I, I wasn't good enough to go with you, you could have at least told me for security reasons. Yes, I would have. But you know, it is usual boys' night hours. You know, it was, the party was strictly for men. And as though I could have changed the protocol, it's not possible. Though that was selfish of me. I could have at least mentioned it to you. Oh God. What came over me? A little lie that I could have avoided is now raising the hell of suspicion in my family. I'm very sorry.
come you've not said anything about our wedding arrangements? I mean, the food, drinks, wine, everything we need for the wedding. <laughs> A worthy man like me does not have to worry over such issues. Friends take care of that. Everything we need will be present that day. Okay? Okay. <laughs> That reminds me, how did an ordinary lecturer like you become this wealthy? I mean, you have never discussed your business concerns with me before. What do you mean by ordinary? I prefer you stay clear of that subject. Talk about our wedding. I'm sorry. I hope I didn't make any mistakes. What is the matter with you? Has it come to suspicion already? If you have doubt about my source of wealth, why are you sticking to the marriage? You have enough time to work out. Oh, no, I, no, I, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean to, to insult you or anything. Okay, so stop being junky for no reason. Hmm? I mean, it's, it's, it's not a problem if I clear the cobwebs, is it? I'm sorry. I'm sorry, okay? I'm sorry. Yes. Mm -hmm. 
Both, Conte. Both. I guess I didn't know you too well before getting this involved. That is too bad. Maybe you were a bit desperate. Who are you, Professor Conte? You just called my name. I am no more than just a professor blessed with a lot of wealth and worthy friends. Is that a crime? You sure have a lot of explanations to do, and I'm sure you know that. Oh, come on, cut that crap. I have married you, and that's just that. It's all over. Do you have a choice? Get into bed, baby. And take charge of your responsibilities. Before you spoil my honeymoon with your stupid insinuations. I am not in the mood for that. Please. Oh. I should have taken a haul for a wife to get maximum satisfaction on my investment. How dare you?
don't know what else to do. And that is why I've come to see you. Just take a very good look at me. I am married to a wealthy man. I have everything I need on earth, except that which a woman craves for. It is painful, honestly. Every effort to get my husband have another child with me proves abortive. She believes that any other child would be like the others. But I don't mind having dozens of imbeciles trying to get a sound child. It's worth the try. My friend, just look at me. Am I going to live all my life babysitting for those two useless things? Impossible. It can happen. I am really tired. My dear. You are blind, Eunice. You are blind. Yes, Elu is into an aquatic business. What? A serious one. Yes. From every indication, he knows that. Any other pregnancy would produce an imbecile. And that is the price he has to pay for his wealth. <laughs> no, wait a minute. Are you trying to tell me that my husband is into money rituals? <laughs> I thought you are a smart lady. Since the day you told me that there is a room in your matrimonial home that you have never entered, Ever since to marry to him, I knew that Isabel is an important girl. My dear, don't say I say so. Try to find out yourself before you go singing. But he told me that that room is meant for special prayers during fasting period. <laughs> fasting period, yes. I mean, insist on praying and fasting with him in that room. Or are you not his wife? Hey! Gabazia Kawena. Mban. I need his money, not imbeciles. Mm -hmm. It's easy. My dear, it's easy. Get pregnant outside and hang it on him. Before you know it, you will have a son child and still inherit his wealth. Mm. In that way, you will now find out that those abnormal children are not your fault. My dear, I have never thought of this. Thank you very much. Mm. It's you. fasting with you. And if you want to go into this special room for prayers, I will also go in with you. After all, I'm your wife and there is no harm in both of us fasting and praying together. Oboria! Says who? Listen, let me tell you. I don't know who has been advising you but let me warn you. You are swimming in a deadly waters, okay? I don't care, SLO. I said I don't care, oh. Bata bata, you were long too, Huh? Hey! I just hear you say, you mean you are referring to me as a money ritualist? Uh -huh. Is it a new thing? Just take a good look at what you gave me as you Have you seen it? You have refused to get me pregnant. Now, a you will in my matrimonial home. I said, as you need money, you will me now. Nah. Tell me. I will you. I am used to it. Let me warn you. This room is a holy room. I will not stay alive to see anybody. I can't it. Not a 
within you. Any day you venture into it, let me tell you, that day will be the last day of your life here on earth. I promise. If you're tired of eating my money, you better pack your things and go back to your parents' house. And stop destroying what took me years to build. Did you get it? Rubbish. Hey, oh hey, look at my. It's better upstairs. I'm coming with you. What's all this money for? It's a simple invitation and for the first time for that matter. I know. But well, I have a job to do to earn the money. <laughs> that door is locked. And there's no amount of shouting that can be heard outside this room. I want you to lift my soul to end the money. This is my bank of currency. I want you to lift my soul. Take your money, I want you to lift my money. You don't lift my money? She's going to open this door. Okay. Will you do what I tell you now? Before I finish? If you ain't going to Come on, do Come on, do what I tell you. Do what I tell you. Added five more years to my life. Come and take this man and leave this place. Hold on. Someone to have stopped me. I wish I could get someone to say, Hey, no. Oh, God, help me. Oh, God, help me. Oh, God, help me. Oh God, the 
There's no one I can talk to but you There's no one that can listen to me but you Lord. Oh God, help me Oh God, help me Oh God, help me Oh God, help me Hello, Uju. What kind of sales girl are you? You closed my case since Saturday. You didn't care to call me your master. Eh? Sorry for yourself. And who is there with you? Nobody. Are you sure? How about God? I'm not with anybody. I'm alone. I'm at the office now. Hmm? There's this file I must take along with me to Abuja tomorrow. And I didn't know where I misplaced my own office key. So, come with your key so that I can take the file. Come immediately. I give you 20 minutes. Take it back. Okay, sir. I'm coming right away. Okay, mom. Mm -hmm. Uh-uh, we be. That's my old girl. He's waiting for me right now in the office. He said he forgot his own key. So I'm taking mine to him now, okay? Oh, oh, oh. ah! Eh? What kind of disturbance is this now? Eh? It's your office job, eh? It's pissing me off, oh. It's pissing me off, oh. Mm -hmm. Come on. See, you are going to wait for me here. I'll be back in less than 30 minutes. Mm -hmm. 30 minutes. Mm, 30 minutes. Promise. Better don't waste more than that, too. I will not. That's my baby. <laughs> good job. Good job. Oh, I love you. Mm. Good job. Go, 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 go. <laughs>
come with me. You help me check something. There's little calculation we need to do. And put it in one of the files that I'll be traveling with. Hmm? Okay, sir. Okay. minutes. This almost three hours. I wish I know her boss office or where she even stayed. I've gone there and asked of her. Ah. And her phones are still switched off. Oh, I start from. Push me today, Bobo. I make it there, I do for me, I come. Yes, sir, yes, sir. First, I don't feel this. If you don't give me money, okay. or my money not complete, not complete. Don't worry. Okay, boy, what is that? This is no. Uh, so if we take you people, I want to rush to see someone. <laughs> don't worry, huh? Let me take you. Home.
Excuse me. I don't enter Kotoni in the next two hours. Life don't change you. Hey, if they are like, where mama go there, they wait for me. They are mama. My two children, I do see them. See, see so much. my two kids, a boy and a girl. Eh? Who takes them to school and who brings them back? Edward, now nah. you know Edward. I saw you know Edward. The kind of man, I don't know Edward. The kind of man again. Do, do you know where he lives? Eh? No, I don't know. I don't know. He's a kind of man. And Edward's supposed to bring them back. Yes, yes, I have searched everywhere. Even a kind of like I have asked him. They said I have not seen him. His number is not even going at all. Those kids are having us there. Eh? Eh? What's it? My children? Edward must you have sold them at mother. <laughs> No, no. Madam, calm down. The thing is this. Parents should be careful about who takes their kids to school and back. These bad people are going to dirty business. And they command armed robbery operation and assassination. No. But I no. think you need, my kid. You, you need to go to the police very fast. You need to go to the police. Okay. To the police okay. Very fast. okay. Hi. member of this brotherhood is measured by the number of sacrifices you make. I'm impressed. And I urge us all here to continue in these lines. Etzelo, we thank you for this wonderful sacrifice you have brought to us that indeed gladdens the heart of the Grand Master. The Anacondas Great are the counters. We are the wealthiest and the wisest. wisest. Let me ask, is there any, anybody here with a complaint? My new wife is giving me serious problems. She is too nosy and it is pulling me back. My wife has been a thorn in my flesh. The other day, she nearly bathed into my secret sanctuary. Abomination! Abomination! Anybody, anybody that troubles any member of this brotherhood must be sacrificed in this temple. That is the rule. And anybody who in any way tries to jeopardize the secrecy of this cult, that person will be seriously dealt with. Anybody who in any way tries to make any member of this brother who feel unsafe, that person must be sacrificed to the other corner. But should you in any way jeopardize the interests or the integrity of this brotherhood out of your own negligence you and your entire household will be seriously dealt with that is a standing order good i hope we all remember that next week is a week for the sacrifice of the dead soul so we all have to get into the business of the dead. A member of ours just died and has been buried without us performing our traditional rituals. That we must have to do. The great anacondas. Wisest and wealthiest. Great anacondas. The wealthiest and the wisest. Oh, hey, Damien. 
discipline to make me bow, I did tell you. Mm -hmm. How many times would I have to tell you to cut down the use of those street languages? I don't like it. I don't fit. <laughs> Unless we're there for board or manager meeting my man. Come on, Joe. How are you to learn to be disciplined like you? Boss, you all the money around you. And you're the only child of the great Karachi. Yet, you know fit for job. Come on. But you know the party? You know the visit joint? To go after Babs Natabo. Where did they do you? Or were you the dummy? Yeah? Come on. How we could take, tell me, how we could take sustain our friendship? <laughs> if our social life separate like ocean and desert? <laughs> now tell me, Damien, what do you want me to do? Hmm? Now tell me. At least sometimes. We fit hit nice spots downtown, my man. Enjoy ourselves with those sweet, succulent babes. We feel ground. We feel ground and look for special people like you. Damien. Damien, you and I have come a long way. Come on! You of all people should know me better by now. I'm not caught up for such nonsense, such rubbish. <sighs> You're asking me for the impossible. Anyway, tell me, how is work? How is work? Yeah, how is work? We are talking about fun, fun here, and you are asking me about work. You see now? You see that you and your father, you people want to try out all our youthful energies, right? So that by the time we settle down, we will not have any result for our body eating wives. <laughs> you don't work for that, I tell you. I mean, leave me a piece of it. Don't be funny. You don't feel work for that. Don't be funny. So tell me, um, <laughs> Anything from um, from the Roman mills? Uh -huh. Come, Joe. You said you're a personal person. Yeah. I know if it hide my feelings from you. Yeah. Go on. I'm listening. It's about your chama. Your papa. I mean your father. God. I don't, I don't understand. What about my father? Joe, wait me and hear about your papa too much when I know this small. See, everybody from here believes in your papa like a one guy bad, powerful or cutting man. What? Oh, what did you just say? My, my father. Where your papa they at? Where make me believe them? Tell me. Things like what? Something happened inside your father's office some days ago. I saw it into my eyes. Yes. 
against person where they pay my salary. Huh? Damien, if the story is made up, I will never forgive you. Do you know who you're talking about? My father, a knight of St. Mulumba. Hmm? A man that fears God, a devoted Christian, a philanthropist. Demon! 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 Secretary! Secretary! Demon! 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 Secretary! Help! Help! Demon! The guy's death is strange. And the strangest of it all is the fact that Dad was having some kind of meditations in his office when all this happened. And he became true with his so called meditations after Damien had already died. Come on. Don't tell me you're becoming paranoid, Joe. You're a young Christian, strong in the Lord, so you should know better. Don't you? I hope you're not beginning to believe in all this uh, superstitious uh, stuff going around. Besides, your father is a strong knight in the church. I am not fooled by his knighthood, Mom. Not after all these rumors going here and there. Stop! No, you just stop! If your father were truly a cult member, I think I should know. I should be the one to know. I've lived with him for years. And you think he will tell you more? You think he will tell you he's a member of a cult? Look, Mom. We could be victims of the wicked demands of his occultic group. I mean, 
Why would Damien then few minutes after he reviewed what Dad does in his office? Please, please, just stop, okay? Just stop it there! I don't want to hear anymore. Just let me be. Leave me alone. Mom, we had better face the fact. This entire household is in danger. Just stop. Now, just get out. Leave me alone. Just go to wherever you want to. Go wash your car or face your academics, whatever. But just get out of my sight, please. Make me suspect you tomorrow. Don't make me get out. Just out. God. How can? It's just not possible. 